Madeline Doobie here. What's the play for today? Well, today I'm going to be playing around with some hoarded supplies. I'm going to force myself to use those up because this month I have dedicated to one of the ways that I have helped myself learn to play, which is to say, use it or lose it. If I catch myself really hoarding something, and I've caught a few things this month because it's been spring cleaning time in the studio, what I'm going to do is say to myself, I have to use it or lose it. Doesn't matter what any of the details, I have to use it or lose it. That means if I don't get it used up, I have to throw it away or donate it. Truth be told, a half used something, nobody really wants that donated, so it's going to be the trash which freaks out that inner collector in me. So that's how I'm going to get myself to use it up. I've got these puffy frame things that I absolutely love, so much so I haven't actually used them. And I'm going to color them up a little bit with something called Color Burst Metallics. And these things are absolutely a blast, worked perfectly for this. I'm so glad that I grabbed these. Well, enough of my talking. Come check out and see the play. So here the frames are kind of puffy, and so they have some dimension to them. There are two pieces to it, to each one, so you can pull the center out of it or leave the outside, leave them together, pull them apart, so you have all these options for it. Self-adhesive, which I love, and designed to be painted, have ink put on it. Now, I love these ornate frames. I'm a sucker for an ornate frame, so as soon as I saw these, I just had to own them. But then I got trapped in waiting for the perfect project, don't want to waste them, that kind of thing. And you know what? I'm getting over that today. How? I am saying use it or lose it. Either I use this all up or I have to get rid of it. Now a half used art supply like this or scrapbooking supply, nobody wants that. So that means I'm going to have to throw it away which is freaking out my inner collector slash hoarder. I wanted to get some color on them so what I'm using are some of the Ken Oliver's Color Burst Metallics. And what I found is it did a really nice job getting right into those crevices so it really made the pattern that's in these, these frames pop for me. And I love that ornate pattern and I love color so I'm calling this a win. And it's also got a metallic um, shine to it because it's a metallic color so that makes it even more awesome to me. Now you did notice that I was shaking it on the package, and yes, you'll be very proud of me, I actually read the directions, that they, he does recommend that you shake them frequently just because I guess the metal is heavier and settles to the bottom. I'm all good with that, it was easy peasy to shake it up, that way I've got all this pretty color happening on it. And I'm feeling the familiar call of the rainbow, so I'm going to do each one of these in a different color of metallic. And totally love how fluid these things are, it just absolutely gets right in those crevices, once I get color on all of these, then I need to use them because that's the deal for today, use it or lose it. So I've got to use these or else I have to throw them away. And what I'm going to do is put them in that journal that you see over on the left. Now this journal I've been adding to all month long in the Let's Play videos that are all about how I get over that inner supply hoarder, that collector of supplies, and actually get myself using things. And that journal is nowhere near finished. There's definitely going to be more added to it. And if you'd like to see how the layers build up, how the pages develop in it, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll be sure to know next time I have a video out. And I guarantee whatever I do in this, I will be sharing on YouTube and on my blog at acolorfuljourney.com. So I've got lots and lots of color on these, and I'm actually going to take some of the color back off. So I'm going to grab the very fancy, very fine art tool, the Kleenex, and I am going to wipe off any of the excess. What I'm doing is just kind of making part of it lighter and part of it darker by doing this. And that gives it even more contrast and really makes the crevices and the, the pattern that's been embossed into these puffy frames really stand out. Oh, look, I forgot the middle part. Was that an oops? Yeah, absolutely. I'm just going to smear a little bit on there with my finger. And now it's time to actually put these in the journal. My inner collector is absolutely in control and is getting picky. Is this the right place? Is it? No, not here. Put it here. Not here. What about this page? Should we put it here? <sighs> well, that inner collector, it was never going to happen. I had to just quiet that voice and say, we're just going to put this down on a page and we're going to go. This isn't going to be perfect. I don't have any idea where these pages are going when I put this stuff down. But these things need to get in this art journal or they're going to have to be thrown away. And by saying that to my inner collector, saying we either need to do this or throw them out, for the most part quiets that voice down and it says, okay, putting them down and using them is far better than throwing them away. Now I will say that the frames were much easier for me to position around there, but these inner pillow, inner parts of them, I'm kind of like, what am I going to do with those exactly? I think they're cool. I don't know. So I'm just going to turn to a blank page and stick them on there. 
Again, I have no idea how I'm going to do these, what I'm going to add to them over time for this page, or if this is even the perfect place to put them, but the bottom line is I had to use them somewhere. Well, thanks for joining me for today's play. Now, at this point, I thought I was done, right? This is when I'd say thanks for joining me. You know, I'd so give it a thumbs up if you've liked it. I'd so appreciate it if you share it with someone that you think needs a little play in your day. And then I decide, hey, I want one of these on the cover. So I'm actually going to go and I'm going to steal one from another page and I'm going to put it on the cover because it just feels like it should be there. Should it be that way? Should it be that way? And all of a sudden, when I turn it sideways, I'm like, oh yeah, this is exactly what I want there. Well, now I'm done with today's play for real this time. Thanks so much for being a part of this colorful journey.